What's up, y'all? You already know we out here, and you already know we out here. <laughs> if you are familiar with that phrase, today is a collab video with Marlon Tenghao here on YouTube. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Kobe Lomax and I am the CEO of Curly Hair. Today's video is something that some of you guys have been waiting for, others of you have been highly recommending me not to do, but here we are. I am going to be trying Cantu products. Now, if you don't know, I've had a history that was not so good with Cantu products. But you know, it's been some time, it's been a couple years now, you know, people change, things change, formulas change maybe, hopefully. Products get better, people get better, brands get better, you know, so, you know, I wanted to, I wanted to you know, give them, a, give them another go, give them another chance, you know, to see if they can redeem themselves in my book. So. This is going to be an interesting video. This video is also a collab video with Marlon Tang Hao here on YouTube. So after you finish watching this video, I want you to go down in the description below and I'll have his video linked down there. You can go over to his channel and check out his video after you watch this video. If you are coming from Marlon's channel, then welcome to the brother sisterhood. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let's get into the video. I'm really trying to talk. Talk and never turn me on. Y'all, here we go. Welcome to the shenanigans. <laughs> Yo, so many people told me not to do this video. But you know what? We're doing it. We're here. And uh, we're going to see if Cantu has redeemed themselves. So if you guys didn't know, I did a video where I was talking about Cantu was canceled. It was a little comedy thing, but I was also like low-key a little bit serious. I just really didn't understand why they put isopropyl alcohol in all of their freaking leave-in conditioners. And people were barking back saying, oh, it makes the formula better, it depends on how much they use, blah, 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 blah. But if I'm creating products, right, and you know that average consumer is not gonna be thinking, oh, I have to prop for alcohol. The same thing I use to clean stuff, you know, it's not gonna be bad for my hair. It's cool if I put in a leave-in conditioner. They're not gonna be thinking that. You couldn't find some substitute to put in there, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, I was I was kinda like, why would you do this? I don't know, but what we're gonna do today is see if they redeem themselves. I went and I got a leave-in uh, gel and oil. I'm actually really excited for the oil. It looks like it's really good, but the regular leave-ins all had isopropyl alcohol in it, still. And I was not about to do that. So, I got their conditioning creamy hair lotion. They have three new gels. The one I got is a Cantu uh, flaxseed soothing cream gel. Um, smells kind of chemically, but you know, it's, it's expected. So we're gonna see. The ingredients don't look too bad in this. I'm gonna be completely honest. We're gonna see, and I really need my hair to look good because I'm in the middle of filming an Instagram video. Like I keep going back and forth between like filming this video and then turn my, my camera to the side and filming an Instagram video so I can knock out two pieces of content in one. So I really need my hair to look good. Like I come, I, like, I really need y'all to perform. I really need y'all to, to do the trick. You feel me? So it looks like this is a new line from them, the flaxseed smoothing lines. We're gonna start this thing off like you normally would. So we have the back section off. I'm gonna take this conditioning creamy hair lotion. Nice consistency. Really nice consistency. It smells very like Cantu. That like pineapple y chemically smell. It's okay. When it comes to like the moisturization, it's all right. It's not too bad. It's going into my hair very nicely, honestly. It's like absorbing into my hair very nicely. Not gonna hold you on that. So, all right. So now we are going to go in with the flaxseed smoothing cream gel. It's very like gooey. Okay, it's very slippery. Flaxseed gel though tends to be very flaky, so I'm a little bit scared that's gonna flake. You know what? As I'm applying this, the smell is really kind of bothering me a little bit. I mean, it's not terrible, but it's just like, mm, it's not ideal. However, I feel like this is one of those gels that's probably gonna give me like that wet look. And it feels really good. Like this gel feels really good, really moisturizing. And like I said, the ingredients aren't too bad. And if I'm looking down, I'm looking at my mirror down here. So I'm gonna wet my hair some more. It's not really helping my curls clump, and it's, in fact, making them look kind of stringy, which like I said, I feel like it's gonna give me that wet look. Like, I feel like some of y'all would really like this gel based off of like 
the look that you're trying to go for. I'm gonna use a lot. Ah, see when you use it with a lot of water, the curls are popping. Ah, okay, honestly, this gel, it might be a keeper. The only thing that I kind of don't like about it right now is the smell. Otherwise, it feels very good, feels very moisturizing. And when my hair is soaking wet, it's getting my curls defined. Now the hold is gonna be a different story. We don't know how that's gonna be. But while my hair is soaking wet, I'm not even mad at it. I'm not even mad at it. Like I said, the smell is just really kind of getting to me. I turn around. I'm actually not mad at these results. If I'm being completely honest. Now I'm wondering, is this gonna be the type of gel that I should put the oil on now? Or should I wait to put the oil on when my hair dries? Let's try a little bit. So we're gonna take some of this flaxseed smoothing oil. And I got these at Target, by the way. I think everything was $5, like $4.99 or something like that. And I'm just gonna smooth the oil on my hair. Okay, honestly, I'm not mad at this. Like I said, we gotta see how this dries, but can two might redeem themselves. There's still some products I will not use from them. The ones that have isopropyl alcohol in it. Some just don't sit right with me with that. Okay, y'all. This is shook if I ever knew what it felt like. I am really shocked at these results. I don't even know what to say. <laughs> Speechless. Cantu just may have redeemed themselves with this one. These products, I'm really liking them. The only thing that's bothering me about every single product on this line is the smell. Everything smells like chemically. Everything, I mean every product. The leave-in, the gel, the oil, everything smells chemically and that's bothering me. But other than that, these products have great slip. All of them have great slip. And no silicones too. I can get through my hair very easily. This feels very moisturizing, like all the products together. Feels very moisturizing. And the curls are popping. Now I have to see if this is gonna flake. And I also have to see how it's gonna hold when it's dry. But as of right now, Cantu just may have redeemed themselves. Matter of fact, these may be added to my top products of 2020. I mean, this is good. Like I'm really like was not expecting to like any of this. Like the slip is insane on these. And it's really getting the curls like popping. Like do y'all see that? I mean I'm really like flabbergasted. Honestly I don't even know what that means to be honest. I shouldn't have said it but don't sue me. So here's a tip when I'm doing this I don't want a hard middle part. So what I do is take the middle section and I just take that and I do this backwards. I do this to the side. And then I throw I do this and throw it back. All right, y'all, this is the finished result. This is what my hair is looking like. Honestly, I'm not even mad at it. I'm so shocked at these results. Like, I was actually expecting to hate this stuff. The only thing that bothered me was the smell, but other than that, the products were actually good, and the ingredients were good, and all the ones that I used. All Cantu products are not clear in my book. Some of the products still have isopropyl alcohol in them, so they're a no for me, but these products that I use in this video, super affordable. Um, the smell is very annoying to me, but other than that, I'm actually kind of shook. Like, like I might use these again. Y'all, I spoke too soon. Do not pass go. Okay, on a serious note though, my hopes are a little too high for these products on day one. My hair is dry now. It is completely dry. And so, let me tell you guys how my hair is feeling. It's very soft. Um, it's a little fluffy, which honestly I'm not mad at. Like, I really like the look of this. I really am a fan of the look of this. The thing that I hate right now about these products, I already said the smell is still lingering around. I'm not a big fan of the smell. But the other thing, these products, it's like they sit on your hair. If I touch my hair, my hands feel like, bleh. Like I need to go wash my hands now. Yeah, I go into sleep, 
I was waking up, this gel was all, the like residue was all over my phone. It's not flaking, I was actually shocked. It's not flaking at all. And it looks good, it really does look good. I, I'm a fan of this. It's not super defined how I normally like it, but honestly, I'm not even mad at it. Like, to me, this looks good. But whenever I touch my hair, like, I feel like I need to go wash my hand. It just has this yucky, like, feeling. Especially when my hair touches my face all day, it's just like, ugh. And so, because of that, these products will not be a favorite for me. Remember how I was saying, like, these might become a favorite. Like, these might become one of my favorite products. Because of that, and I think it's just the gel, but the gel is not gonna be a favorite. And if I'm, like, in a situation where I need to do my hair so quick, those products have amazing slip, all of them. So if I'm in a situation where I need to do my hair real quick, I might use these products, you know? Like, I'm not gonna throw them away, I'll keep them, because I, I might use them again. But this is not gonna be a favorite, just because every time I touch my hair, it just feels like, bleh. Like, ugh. Like, there's like a residue on my hair, it just feels like yucky. You know? So yeah, I can say I do like these results. I do like the way my hair turned out. I love the shape. It gave me a little bit of volume, but this, like, it just feels yucky. Yeah, that's all for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed it, be sure to give it a thumbs up as it really does support the channel. And if you're looking forward to more videos like this, then be sure to subscribe and hit the bell so that you get a notification every time I upload a new video. For more of the behind the scenes stuff, you can find me on Instagram at Kobe Lomax, on TikTok at Kobe Lomax. And yeah, that wraps up this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching, spending some time with me. If you're coming from Marlon's channel, thank you so much for coming over. Welcome. If you're one of my subscribers, Subscribers, now is the time to head over to Marlon's channel and check out his video where he will be trying can do products and giving his opinion his video will be linked down below for you guys to check out yeah I'm so excited that I could collab with other guys in the curly hair niche you know what I'm saying and um, I definitely see more collabs with more curly hair guys coming soon I think it will be a really great really amazing thing just for all of us to get together and work together and support each other and so yeah I'm so excited for what's to come Thank you guys so, so much for watching once again, and I will see you in my next video.